in this example project, I have prepared a special code family, and we have seen this family before. And I call it uh, research question one, uh, definition of happiness. And the question here that I want to explore is if there's a difference between families who have children and families who don't have children. Do they define happiness in any in a different way? Um, yeah, because we have these. Um, yeah, in this data we have um, blog posts and that's why we would ha need to we have to code uh, the respondents who have children who don't have children. Maybe let me just uh, show you that uh, in the blog. So if you have interview data, the others would work with PD families. So that would be a different issue. Yeah, but each blog post is called with those code attributes. Yeah, this is a female and she has children. Um, this is um, a male. It's a young child, a daughter, and it's a one child family. So as we have blog posts, we cannot work with PD families because we have over 100 contributions here in this document, so we have to code for those. So that's why um, yeah, we have like a, it's a question relating codes to variable type information, but in this t the data set, we need to actually code for that information. So there are various ways of actually um, answering that, that question. One way would be uh, the core currents um, table explorer, but that would be the uh, webinar on uh, analysis tools. Um, here I want to show you how to actually answer this question with the help of the network view function where approaching the answer. If I, um, yeah, I, there's an option of importing codes or diff different objects on on um, actually, and um, and if I if I do it um, without setting a filter, I will have lots and lots of codes in my network, and so maybe I should show this first, and then you kind of understand the option of filtering. So from the coding here, well, the attribute codes are always coded with the content codes, so it's a co-occurring uh, question when we have an Im uh, import co-occurring option in a network view. So if I open a network view on families who have children, and it's already, yeah, I don't need this memo for now, so I remove this memo from view. And we have an option here, import co-occurring code. So all the codes that overlap in the margin area that are also applied here. So if I use this option without setting a filter, well, we get a pretty picture going to take one because it's now querying all the data and putting all codes that co-occur with the code have children. So, and if I use um, the semantic layout, that's kind of a nice option to distribute codes uh, equally in a network view. Um, yeah, it's kind of lots of things on top of each other. Yeah, and the ones I have linked already. So basically, that's not, not very meaningful to import co-occurring codes without um, setting filter so we just quickly close this and discard changes so I need to set this family as global filter so if I now do the same importing codes it only imports the codes um, that are now in the current filter And it imports these five codes. And now I know that those who have children have defined happiness in these various ways. And I link these codes now to my attribute code. And um, Yeah, I could use quite a new relation called define now, but I'm just leaving this as associated with for the moment. Yeah, uh, this is different definitions of. So this is just to, to kind of, for me to um, to capture that the, those who have children define happiness in these five different ways. So I close this network, I'm gonna save this now. This is only to see which codes actually also co-occur. 
So I do I do the same thing now for those who don't have children. Import call current. So now we see that those who don't have children have a less variety of defining happiness in the context of children. Um, <coughs> I also link it link it to each other. So now I want to actually bring these um, two together to see the difference. So I drag drop my have code in here. So immediately chose the linkages so that I already have created. And then I import um, the other linked um, codes. That I linked before. Just minimizing my screen now. So what I see here now is that parents and non-parents define happiness as meaning fulfillment, and it's, that is a very subjective feeling. And but those who have children also see it as a state of mind, as a long-term view, and define it also as a feeling. So as I showed you before, I can also access the quotations behind here, read the data behind the network, which is also important, not just seeing which codes um, are applied. And then I can link these two to each other. And this is where I created my um, its difference between. See now, this, I don't see the, um, the menu here. I show you just drag it a bit, difference between, that we have seen, so I do it quickly now, um, we have seen this in, in my PowerPoint before, and it's symmetric, apply. I now have my first little story, I can tell the difference between parents and non-parents with regard to how they define happiness. Yeah, and um, now I should read the quotation behind it, uh, write my memo um, on it, and uh, yeah, so that it should query the data, read the data behind it, not just working uh, with your codes, but it gives you a first um, impression. Now, of course, I also want to uh, save this network, research question one, um, them non-parents but the child is um, with regard to death happiness make it a bit shorter here yeah so this is uh, one way of um, now utilizing network views um, for analytic purposes um, the, but the difference between version 6 and version 7 is here that we cannot just import all neighbors, all common neighbors. That was the version 6 option. We can also set you want only codes, only memos, only quotations, or only families. So we have a differentiation now, which wasn't there before. Plus, we can work with filters. Yeah, filters did not have an effect in version 6 um, on the network view at all. So you could set any filters you want. Um, they didn't affect network views and that's why this becomes now a meaningful option um, to do. To just add um, one more example to this, I'm taking the um, the um, parenting, the Belkin's parenting blog and the New York magazine blog and add them to a network because now we have seen these uh, gray lines before um, we can also ask which codes do actually occur in a particular document or which codes do not occur. Again, without setting any filters, we wouldn't get any um, meaningful answers. We need just a pretty network with lots of colorful codes uh, in here, but uh, that wouldn't mean anything. Yeah, 
been um, using filters now, we can also say, okay, which of these um, uh, definition happiness is a difference between the two blocks um, in terms of defining um, happiness. And um, yeah, we would, I just leave this family now, just create a, another family in a second as an example. So now we can actually import code um, neighbors here as well. And we see immediately um, which codes occur here in the two documents, but we have to do this on the other document as well and see, okay, we have one code here and um, yeah, we don't need the demo here. So we see that these codes occur in both documents and happiness is a state of mind is only mentioned in the New York Times blog. Um, for example. Yeah, and let's um, and remove the global filter, remove global filter, show all codes. And for example, I have an effects of parenting category here. Effects of parenting and then we can also now uh, compare Um, the, the two documents again, Bell Cain's in New York Times blog, whether they talk about different effects of parenting, maybe also give you an idea of the dynamics of blogs. Um, you know, some person says something, another report, a response, and, um, and, and then yeah, maybe a, a topic evolves or it doesn't evolve. But again, we see very similar. Uh, we have the dark orange ones are the negative as aspects of parenting. Um, people talk about, we have the positive ones and we have the career option. Yeah, so that's actually, it doesn't, didn't occur very often uh, at all, but this is only an op uh, an, a topic that probably because one person talked about it some two pe people responded. So that aspect we only have in the Belkin parenting blog and it didn't come up in the New York Times um, blog. Yeah, so it's an easy way to compare uh, what has been uh, with the difference between the respondents. So if you do a case-based analysis and I think you can imagine or can kind of uh, come up with some ideas about your own data and how you can compare and contrast uh, groups um, or documents and, and difference between the documents. Yeah, so this is a new option also in version um, 7 to import codes specifically on primary documents and we get these gray semi-lines here um, to indicate which code occur and doesn't occur.